idea about the whole glottal stop. So remember, we talked about six stops in English that exist in the English language, right? The labial mm -hmm. stops. Do you remember what labial means? Labial, labials, um, labial means... Labial? Labial. This is the word L-A-B-I-A-L. -L. Lib labial oh, the is the mm -hmm. adjective mm -hmm. that describes lips. lips. So mm -hmm. uh, the labial stops, and we have two. One is voiced and one is voiceless. Mm -hmm. One of them is b, 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 cab. I have to catch a cab. And the other one is p, 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 voiceless. Mm -hmm. Where's my cap? I want to put on a cap. Mm -hmm. Cap. Okay, so we can see that it stops the air. If I'm going ah, and then I go ah, mm -hmm. stops the air, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, stops the air. So yes. those are stop sounds. We can also put stop sounds in the in the beginning. We can say bed, and we can say pat. So mm -hmm. the the stop sound in English can come at the beginning, can come in the middle, and come can come at the end. All of those positions are are acceptable in English and mm -hmm. they, they occur in, in word forms uh, in different positions. Now the other stop sign is the lingua Lingual dental stop. stop. You don't need to know the name of it, but uh, lingua means tongue, eh? mm -hmm. and then dental needs teeth. Tis, right? Mm -hmm. So that means when you put your, the tip of the tongue above the teeth, then that will stop the air. So mm -hmm. if I have a D which is our voiceless sound, mm -hmm. yeah, for the color red. red. Then I read, mm -hmm. red. and then mm -hmm. I put my tongue up there, and the sound stops. Yes. Red. Red. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And the other one is voiceless, and that's the sound. T -t 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 -t. So I'm going to put on a hat. hat. Okay, so the T, the tongue goes up to the gum ridge mm -hmm. above the teeth, and then that stops the sound. This, the, that's the second pair, so that's already four. Four. The third pair is the velar stops, and those are the stops in the back of mm -hmm. the throat. Mm -hmm. So if this is my tongue, oh. this is the tip of my tongue, oh. this is the back of my tongue, then and this is the inside of my mouth, so the back roof of the mouth here, mm -hmm. hits up here to stop it. So if I want an R-U-G, rug, g, 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 if I put, yeah, here, then that's the voiced one, rug, yeah. rug, 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 yes. Yes. Okay, so let's walk on the rug. The rug is, is very soft. Right. And then the k sound is the voiceless one. For example, here's my, I hurt my back, I hurt my neck. So if I say neck, neck. so the k is the one that stops the sound, neck. neck. So those are the six stops in English. The mm -hmm. labial stops, b and p. Mm -hmm. Voiced, b, p. B, b, voiceless, the lingual dental stops are voiced d, d. and voiceless t. t. And then we have the velar stops g, g. that's the voiceless mm -hmm. variety. And then the partner, the voiceless, sorry, the voiced one is g, and g. the voiceless one is k. k. All right, now, the one that it doesn't belong to the phonemic system of English is mm -hmm. the glottal stop. Mm -hmm. which is part of Vietnamese. So you have this in your language, yes. mm -hmm. the glottal stop. And you may not note it, notice or call it the glottal stop, but what is happening in, in your throat inside here is something called the glottis. Glottis. And when the glottis constricts, mm -hmm. it stops the air. Mm -hmm. So, for example, when I say, it's different than if I say, uh, mm -hmm. right? Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Can I have your hand? Put your hand on my throat. Okay, put your hand on my throat. Feel the difference when I say, uh, yeah, just vibrating, right? Yes, okay, yeah. now watch me. Uh, 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 and feel. Uh, 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 uh. So can you feel the constriction? Constriction, yeah. Yeah, so what happens is I'm closing, I'm, I'm closing my glottis uh, like that. Yes. Okay, let me okay. hear you say, uh, uh good. Now now say, uh, 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 so, so doctor do the construction, yeah. Okay, uh, so sometimes uh, we use the we use the glottal stop in English. Mm -hmm. It's not a phoneme, but it is something. For example, when we say when something is is wrong, we go oh, 
Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. So we spell that U H mm -hmm. hyphen mm -hmm. O H. Yes. Uh oh. Because mm -hmm. we don't have a letter mm -hmm. for the glottal stop. Now, phoneticians mm -hmm. have a symbol. We have symbols for a lot of things. So we use a symbol that looks like a question mark. Looks like a question mark, but it doesn't have a dot under it. Mm -hmm. And that, in for people who are interested in phonology, people who to you, you know transcribe what what human language yes, sounds mm -hmm. like we use this symbol as the glottal stop so glottal stop symbol symbol yeah so this symbol and you're not going to see it because Americans never learn this because it doesn't belong to the formal language it doesn't belong to the written language That's so we mean. never use that mm -hmm. okay but sometimes I will use this when I'm coaching especially speakers of Vietnamese yes, because mm -hmm. you use the glottal stop a lot. Mm -hmm. You don't use that symbol, but the symbol that you use is the yo na, mm -hmm. right? So when you write H-O with a yo na and then a C to mean study, mm -hmm. you say help. Mm -hmm. And when you Studies. say help, closing here, mm -hmm. it's not like English H-A-W-K. Look at that hawk. Uh, hawk. Look at that hawk. Uh, hawk. Look at the hawk. Follow the hawk. Mm -hmm. The hawks are flying around. Look at the hawks. Hawks. Yeah. <laughs> There's one hawk. There are two hawks. Look at the family of hawks. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're right. So when we say hawk mm -hmm. in English, hawk. we feel the k. k right? Mm -hmm. Feel it. Hawk. Hawk. Okay, but when we say hawk in, Eng in, in Vietnamese, the glottal stop the glottis closes mm -hmm. before we even put the tongue in the like the position for K. Another thing that's do you notice mm -hmm. what happens to your lips? Look in your mirror right now. When you say the word help. Help. Okay. So when you say this word, when you say this word help, what's happening? Say it again. Say it three times. Mm -hmm. Say it again. Help. Yeah. What's happening to your lips? Close. Right. Close. So in English, and when that. we see that like that, we think of that as a labial stop, like a P. Uh -huh. The P, yeah. And so Americans get confused when Vietnamese close their lips. That's correct. Uh -huh. And they think it's a P when it's not a P. That's the P. Because that's just the part of Vietnamese which is implosive. Close and go in. Mm -hmm. So close and go in. Whereas English is go out, go explode. Out, explode. So yeah. hawk. Hawk. Going out, the sound goes out. But in Vietnamese, how? Going, going in, mm -hmm. closing here, and even closing in the lips. So we have the skill to avoid though that accent. Right. So what we need to do oh, is we need to become aware of this. And in most of your ESL classes, I'm pretty sure you never learn about the glottal stop. Why? No. <laughs> because it's not part of the English language yes, mm -hmm. and people don't even know this this concept. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They just know something's wrong. You mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. She speaks funny, but they don't know they don't know mechanically what's happening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can tell you mechanically what's happening to the part of your body that's mm -hmm. making that. So then I'm telling you, this is where you need to to um pay attention to the throat. Because it's not as obvious mm -hmm. as the stop, ba 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 labial stops you can see very easily, mm -hmm. but glottal stops are kind of secret. Mm -hmm. They're hiding inside your throat. Mm -hmm. If you look in your mirror right now, and you look and you watch yourself going up uh oh up uh oh, uh -oh. I want you uh -oh. Uh oh. Can you see your? Do you see uh -oh. the? Yeah. If you watch yourself uh oh, you can see your uh -oh. muscles moving uh oh yeah. uh oh uh oh. Uh -oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Most of the time, you don't look at yourself while you're speaking. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you never look at yourself while you're speaking. I mean, that would be kind of strange. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. But in order for you to improve or to change your accent, to improve your pronunciation, you need to be aware of all the physical things that happen. Mm -hmm. It's not just a mental thing like learning vocabulary or learning grammar, because you can learn excellent grammar and vocabulary to read it and even make sentences without speaking well. Yeah, that's correct. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. But in order to speak well, it's a it's actually a physical act. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about pronunciation, it's talking about physical act. And you need to know what parts of your body you use. One of them is breath. We mm -hmm. will be discussing how we use breath because in English we use breath differently than in Vietnamese. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, we use our throat. We use our jaw. 
our cheeks, yeah. our lips, mm -hmm. our tongue, mm -hmm. even our nose, mm -hmm. right, to make sound. Of course, we use our ears, but that's for hearing. Mm -hmm. But we need to be aware of these parts. So as I teach you, I will ask you to try to focus on certain parts of your body yes. mm -hmm. as you're doing that. So I hope mm -hmm. you don't feel embarrassed about no, that. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. So that's yeah. why I asked you to get the mirror. And here you have this very nice mirror. Very nice. Mirror. I think <laughs> My sister. Yes, okay. And if you're not sure about how, how, how well you see, then you can look at the, I guess you can look at the one that makes you look really big. <laughs>